And what is a crucifixion? The crucifixion is a kind of death penalty. Nowadays, we have a different kind of death penalty. What is the death penalty today? Lethal injection. In America, if they want to give a death penalty, they put you on the chair, electric chair. They will kill you with the current. There is a different kind of penalty. They put you the rope here and they will give you death penalty. But the worst kind of death penalty in the world, worst, the worst kind of death penalty is a crucifixion. That is the worst kind of death penalty. In which a person to put on a wood and he will be nailed, nailed both ends and his feet will be nailed like that. Nail, Paco. That's the worst kind of death penalty. And that is true that they tried to crucify Jesus. That's true. They tried. And the Christians, they believe that he was crucified. We say no, he was not crucified. We have evidence here in the Quran. That's enough. That's enough evidence for us. But not for the Christians. We have many Christians here maybe. They will not accept this is evidence. No. We give them the other evidence. We give them the evidence from the Bible. We give the evidence scientifically, historically and logically. Now before I can start the topic, I will ask the question. Who want Jesus to crucify? And why they want him to crucify? That's a good question. Before you can ask me the question, I'm asking question here to the non-Muslims, to the Christians. Who want to crucify Jesus and why they want him to crucify? Is any Christian can answer please? Who want him to crucify? Sinong gusto ng pago kay Jesus at bakit gusto nila pago kay Jesus? So you Christians want him to be die for your sin? Are the Christians they want him to be killed? Is this the truth? Yes, that's the truth actually. The Jew wanted to kill him, the Hudio. And the Christian want him to be killed also, so they can have a free life. That is the correct answer actually. That's a part of the answer. In the history, yung mga Hudio gusto nila pago kay Cristo. But actually, the Christian they want him to be killed. So they have no sin. That's the want. It's a, it's a truth. I don't need to ashamed. I don't need to hesitate to say that. Because that's their way. That's their shortcut. That, okay, I cannot do, I can do anything. I don't, know if, I don't need to follow the commandments. Because Jesus died for my sin. I can do my life. Why did you want to kill him? Because the Jesus always make contra to them. He always tell them, follow the commandments. Follow the commandments. But the, yung mga hudyo ayaw nila sunod sa commandment ng Diyos. They don't want to follow the commandments. Say that, you always tell bawal, bawal, bawal. Haram, haram, haram. Because that Jesus was a prophet of God. And he always tell to the Jew, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't make the usury, patong. Don't make the haram business, the illegal business. Don't cheat people. Don't tell the lie. Don't make the fornication. Don't steal. So the Jew, they don't like the Jesus. They say, you always make trouble for us. You say, bawal this one, bawal this one, bawal this one. And that's a Christian to the arm. They don't like bawal, bawal. You know what is the religion of Catholic? Walang bawal. That's true. The religion of Catholic today is walang bawal. You can do anything, walang bawal. Because everything is paid for. You can go to the mall, mall now, departmental store, and get all the things. Put in the basket or in the push cart. And go out. If the guard stops you, Tell there is no sin because Jesus paid for my sin. I can bring anything out. Will the God allow you? No. The God will not allow you. They will call the police and they'll put you in the jail. But the doctrine say everything is paid for. Your sins are paid already. You can kill, you can rape, you can fornicate, you can do anything. But your religion say everything is paid for. All the sins are paid. So stealing is a sin, raping is a sin, killing is a sin. Cheating is a sin. Usury is a sin. Eating of the pig is a sin. The eating of the pork is sin. According to the Bible and according to the Quran. The eating of the pork is sin. It looks good to them, but it's not the good. The good way you follow the commandments. What God commands us, we should do. 